Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's been a while for some of you. For those that are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Braven. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a Twitch streamer. You guys can follow me at twitch.tv forward slash x underscore Braven. If you guys want to see content in terms of battle royales or first person shooters, it's what I normally go to uh, play those mainly. However, I know some of you are looking for a update. Obviously, you can see I'm a Razer affiliate. Uh, I have all my Razer gears. Everything here is pretty much Razer, except for what we're going to be talking about today and reviewing, which is the mouse pads. So I have, sorry, I have two mouse pads that I'm going to review today and the reason why is because I've had about a week to test both of these and they're very expensive mouse pads um, I'll put more close-ups on them in a second but I'm going through a full in-depth review and then at the end of this video it's gonna be a little more lengthy video so bear with me on that um, but I'm gonna go through a full-length video regarding mouse pads in every scenario that some people don't cover and uh, hopefully makes you have a purchase decision on your own see if you would like to get it or not um, but anyways Going on with it, this is Artisan, the Ninja FX company, I believe is they called is it Ninja FX. I don't know, Ninja FX, and uh, this is the Hian, which is the more speed, less control pad. And then right here we have the Hayate Atsu, which is more of the control pad, less speed, uh, different materials, and I'll be explaining that here in a second. But I'm going to just say fair warning before we do get this. It's only been a week, so I only have so much of an opinion on it. However, I did test with many different mice in different games. Uh, I'm going to say right now with the games that I did test it in, it was Warzone, which unfortunately is just riddled with cheaters. So it's not much of testing with that. Um, and then we got Apex Legends, Battlefield 4, and Battlefield 5. Obviously, I'm a Battlefield guy, so that's my go-to game nowadays. Um, always has been in the past, and that's pretty much what you're going to know me for if you guys follow the channel and whatnot. So, uh, Battlefield 4 and 5, I could tell you right now, was really good testing. And then Apex, I could definitely see how the sensor reads on these mouse pads, which I'll get to in a minute. But uh, other than that, I have my opinions on it, which I think are worth buying, and what are the features of them, and what are not, and so on. It's just a full-on in-depth review. So, Without further ado, we will begin this. And then, like I said, at the end of the video, we are going to do an update of why it's been. It's been two weeks since I've uploaded a video, and there'll be an explanation on that. Um, very crazy scenario. So anyway, so with my testing, I also can tell you that I've used three different mice. So this is the Razer Viper 8 kilohertz, which definitely why well, a little bit of water on there. I just got out of the shower, so that's probably why. Um, Razer Viper 8 kilohertz, the lightweight mouse pad, and it does have feet on it. I customly put the feet on, cut it up, and, and shaped it, but it's got glorious skates on it, so it does glide a lot better. And I also tested a heavier wireless mice, which is the Basilisk Ultimate, as you can see, with its stock feet. And then, last but not least, a lighter version of the basilisk which is the v2 which is 92 grams and the reason why i did that is you get a mix of mid like mid tier weight high tier weight and then low tier weight so like the low or high tier low weight or whatever you want to call it fuck it whatever right so i've tested it with three different types of mice and all calibrated sensors to the mouse pads both of them and i'm going to give you my opinion on each of them so I'll even get a close-up. I'll pull the camera up and you guys can see the close-up of the mouse pad and stuff in a second. But let me just say right now that with testing, I could tell you for sure as a high sensitive player, high sense, um, high DPI, I think it's 1600 DPI. And uh, I mean, in most cases, it's like 1.5 cents to, you know, Call of Duty obviously goes up to like six and seven, but it's just they're weird with that shit um but majority of the time it's a high sense gameplay my majority of my gameplay is not a full pad it's just wrist obviously i'm just guiding with wrist obviously i'll turn a little bit you know i'll throw my arm in there throw it back you know it just depends on the scenario it depends on the game so in my testing i could tell you for sure that i have a mixed opinion about each mouse pad per mouse though so for example i'm going to start with the lightweight mouse because that's the craze nowadays. Everyone's using the lightweight mouse. And I could tell you that with my testing, I've tested it on, which obviously this goes to 8,000 kilohertz pulling rate. So the sensor's really, really good on this. Um, but I've only used this up to 4,000 because of the fact that it does start to lag in certain games and it does have hindrance after that. So 4,000 hertz pulling rate. And then I've used it at 2,000 hertz and obviously 1,000 is mainly for everybody because everyone has 1,000, but 2,000 is the, the step above it and obviously 4,000. So um i could tell you and confirm very well that using the hean 
at a high sense with this lightweight mouse was probably my favorite, which is, this is the Heian, by the way. It was my favorite in the sense of I felt like I had, like the, the material gave it a little bit more stopping power than you would imagine because it's more of a speed pad. But at the same time, it gave me enough of the, of the, um, of the stopping power that I was feeling for by the same time the sensor was reading it so well on every single uh, polling hertz rate that I tested on. But I found my comfort spot to be 2000 hertz polling rate where it didn't really hinder uh, CPU because I when you put it up on higher polling rate with this mouse it tends to eat up a little bit of your CPU just because it's like trying to register that fast of fucking uh, the polling rate of it. So. Um, using this, I definitely loved it. Um, Apex was really like, I felt more successful in Apex for sure using this, um, and, and Call of Duty Warzone before the cheaters obviously ruined it, but, um, uh, definitely felt very successful in tracking more and, and staying on target with like snapping onto them and then staying on target pretty accurately. Uh, really good success with this one. Um, in terms of the Basilisk, I only had so much testing with this, but I noticed it has a lot more stopping power with the hand. So with the Basilisk V2, which is the wired one. Um, so it is a little lighter weight than the, the heaviest one, but it's still, it's 92 grams. So it's still all like a middle, it's like the middle ground. Um, but obviously this was the mouse I kind of grew into my streaming career with and whatnot. And, um, this is definitely like something I'm used to mostly just because of the shape and everything. I'm, I'm big on the ergo, my shape of it. Um, but I noticed with the Heian on this one specifically, which I'll swap them around too, so you can see the glide and everything. But, um, with the Heian, I noticed that like the speed was there and it's good. Obviously I've been playing on a hard pad for a while now, Razer Firefly V2, but, um, compared to that, I mean, I think this just has a little bit too much control. Um, I still compare it a little bit to the Goliath's Chroma Extended from what I know, but even the Goliath's Chroma Extended hat, which is right here, has a lot of stopping power. So it's, it's a lot of control, a lot of too much control in my opinion. So, um, personally, I think the he in for the Basilisk V2 would probably be pretty comfortable for most hand scenarios. You know what I mean? So if you're using an ergo mouse, that's a little heavier on the heavier end. Um, you'll love this mouse pad bar none. And the sensor especially reads it so well. That's the biggest thing about this is the stitching on this design, which gives it a little bit more of a, it's like almost like sandpaper, but like lighter sandpaper feel and, um, a lot more comfortable, trust me, but it has that like rougher tech, more rough texture, but the, it's what it is, is the stitching, the stitching really reads the sensor so good and that's with every mouse i've tested like i barely move this mouse and it feels like the sensor is just on par like 1000 percent just getting every read perfectly no hiccups nothing um so i definitely recommend the he in for pretty much both mice lightweight and a little heavier but when it comes to like the heavier mice you should probably look somewhere where it's just mainly speed like probably even uh which i'll show you guys the boxes in a second but they do have uh different types of uh thickness to the mouse pads that you could purchase so for this specific one let me just pull it up real quick so i can make sure i can confirm this this one is the hayate atsu and this one which these they come in these boxes by the way it'll come like in a box like this it has a little tag right here gives you the description uh so this one is a soft so i would say mid for the hean on a heavy mice if you're using heavy mice i would get a mid for sure especially if you're a high sense player if you're a low sense player you still want that speed but i noticed that like just rubbing it i'm sure you could hear it a little bit you can hear the, little, the texture of it's pretty rough um but when i use the heaviest mouse it was pretty like brutal you know like that you could tell you have to force a little bit into it so i didn't really you know wasn't wasn't too fond for it but however i've, I've heard that the hayate atsu which is just a rumor i'm not sure if it's true but the hayate atsu is supposed to have more speed however i felt like that had more control to me and i felt like the he in with the the he in with its uh, rough surface gave it the more speed. So personally, I, I preferred this ma uh, mouse pad over the other one, but I'll explain that in a second. So obviously with these three mice that I tested, I said that obviously I put the heavier one away. And if you're getting like a, a, a lightweight mouse to mid tier, I think it would be good for all types of sensitivity. Um, especially with a, with a good sensor on it, you want to get a mouse with a good sensor and, uh, you'll definitely love this mouse pad bar none. I, I personally think, uh, you know, if this was, a little cheaper in price it'd be definitely worth it for me especially because there's no rgb and obviously my aesthetic has been all rgb i know a lot of people would be like oh it's just rgb but you're paying a premium price for something like this and i don't think this is some high tier mouse pad for everybody i'm sure there's other mouse pads out there that are um you know 
doing similar stuff with the uh, the stitching and whatnot. This is definitely an enthusiast pad, but the stitching, like I said, is not just, it's just not worth the full price that you're paying for it. You know what I mean? So obviously they're making even more budget similar uh, similarity uh, mouse pads out there that are for that are like supposed to be called Hien clones and and Hayatayatsu clones. So definitely keep an eye out for those mouse pads. But if you're looking for one that's a pretty good deal, you know, um, or not deal, but pretty good uh, size and and uh, gives you everything that you really want, except for obviously the RGB, but gives you everything for it you know like the, the, the control the speed everything just feels really good the hien is bar none a purchase you should be you know looking into uh, especially if you don't mind brand loyalty which is similar to what i'm doing with razor um normally i don't branch out of my razor content so that's why it's this is a, a fun experiment i'll be doing more reviews like this too so you'll be keep on the lookout for that but um yeah, this this mouse pad very nice. Um, there is no not much wear into it. By the way, I just want to shout out to my my uh, friend Aaron and Alex, both of them. Um, one of them's named if you see him play with me, it's Asuna Chan, and then the other one's named uh, Falcon Eye on Apex. Um, I know they go by many different names in other games. I don't know why people do that, but they do. So um, I just want to shout out to them because these are their mouse pads, and uh, I believe he was gonna give me one of them, but I personally think I'm gonna deny the the thing just because you know they're pretty expensive, and I don't want him to have a purchase that's just been given to me like that you know what i mean i mean i appreciate the offer but it's not supposed to be like that so um we'll get a close up on this right now before i pull out the uh hayate atsu so um as you can see here it's got a red texture i know the lighting in here is not the best but if you see if i can pull the camera up a little more so you can see right here if you get a close up, I think it's gonna be a little blurry, but yeah, it's a little blurry. I gave it a shot, right? But anyway, so you can feel you can hear the texture, especially with the the mic. You can hear how the texture is a little more rough. And as you can see right here, we're gonna do the slide test with the mice on glides. Remember, this is the eight kilohertz mouse. This is the lightweight one. I believe this is like close to 69 to 70 grams or something like that. And as you can see, like it has a really nice glide. You know, it, it glides really well, especially with the mouse feet that's on it. Uh, with the, the glide, I mean glide, this the glorious uh, skates. They really glide well. I'm sure if you get even ceramic feet on this, this this will be like really good with snapping around and sliding around. But it'll be it'll be really sporadic. So you know, me being on a hard pad, I would personally love it just because it would be similar to a hard pad. But obviously, you have a little bit of squish, just a little bit, which would help with the stopping power when you have to lock in. You know, sit there and lock it on a shot and whatnot. So. Uh, tracking with this thing, like I said, it's going to be a little sporadic for some people, but if you put pressure down, it might help you a little bit with the tracking. But, um, you know, it just is all personal preference on that. Um, like I said, I'm used to a hard pad, so I'm used to like just straight muscle when I'm playing. Like it's going to be muscle tightening up. You kind of see my forearm flex when I'm fucking playing like that. You kind of see it right there in this spot. But, anyways, that's how I snap around, is usually I'm used to that. So, with a little bit of testing that I've done, uh, it's been pretty good. So. Obviously, with the heavier mouse, the wireless mouse, like I said, it's just going to be a, lot, a little more stopping power than, you know, comfort wise. But also, I could say, too, that the feet on this, as you could see right here, are a little smaller. So it does feel like it's rubbing the bottom quite a bit. So I didn't really personally like that too much with this mouse pad because of it being rough. I'm pretty sure you wear your feet down pretty good, too, just because of the texture of it. So that's another thing to consider, you know, about buying some maybe like backup skates, like kind of like what I have here. So this covers all the actual skates on this mouse. So this will, you know, preserve the life of it but anyways um yeah so the heavier mouse like i said it's good it's good you're not going to be disappointed i promise that but um definitely look into uh skates for the, for a heavier mouse if you want the the glide experience and you know just the feel of it and as you can see with the slide it's it's still really good i mean it still slides even with the stock feet pretty well you know um but it does have some stopping power like i said with the squishiness and then obviously the v2 wired which is 92 grams like mid-tier i personally fell in love with this Mo the move of it you know what i mean like the move of the feel of everything but obviously i did notice it had like still stopping power that i wasn't really wanting that much of it and uh definitely was just a picky thing about it but this has much better stock feet as you can see the stock feet on the razor uh uh, razor mice have or at least on this one have really good stock feet it's a little thicker right here it's got a little bit of wear now but usually they're pretty thick when you get them so i've used this a little bit it's still pretty much brand new though i mean it's practically you can look at it, it has like no markings or nothing it's, it's a brand new mouse so um for the most part and uh just worn out the feet a little bit but other than that it's it's really good this this mouse pad made me feel really happy with especially with the sensor like i said the sensors on these things with the stitching reads so well i think that's where the premium price comes in for 
for how it is. And obviously, these are made in Japan, from what I, if I'm not mistaken. It does say on the, the logo right here, if you could kind of see that. I don't want to pull it up too far, but it says uh, Artisan Japan Ninja FX. I believe Ninja FX is the brand that's making it, but it's an Artisan pad. So really, really nice, by the way. Really, really nice. And I know we're already into 15 minutes of the video. It's going to be a long one, so just bear with me on this. And then obviously, we're going to go back over here just for a little bit. I know it's going to be a little messy. Forgive me how I put this back up. Uh, whatever, right? <laughs> we're going to swap the mouse pad out so I can probably pull it back over. And then we're going to pull up the Hayate Atsu. And I know a lot of people have been looking at, like, which one should you buy? And, I, I mean, this is just my opinion on it. But through testing of what I used, uh, I personally do say the Hien. Uh, just based off of my play style. But again, if you're a lower sense, you might like the Hayate Atsu better. Um, surface is a lot like it's it's similar to the he and surface but a little softer a little nicer to the touch um but you could definitely tell there's a lot more squish in here um but it's a it's an interesting squish it's a very it's not i can't really explain but it's not as uh, it's not as like pronounced as like the goliathus chroma it has just about as much squish as the goliathus uh, chroma but it feels like the goliathus chroma extended which is by razor uh has a very stiff squish but it has about the same force you know what i mean like you push down on it it has about the same or sorry same thickness of squish um obviously i, I would say the hayate atsu, hayate atsu has a little bit more just a tiny tiny bit more nothing noticeable but again it's the glide of it the glide of it is very good um still a very nice mouse pad so anyways back to what i was talking about with the three mice test um obviously same thing lightweight medium weight heavyweight uh one's wireless but anyways, tested with all of them. And uh, when I use the Viper 8 kilohertz, I just felt like it was like, I mean, the sensor's reading good and everything. But for me personally, it's just, I guess it's a personal vendetta type deal. But I didn't really care for the tracking of it. And I felt like it was just a little like sporadic. It didn't feel like the squish was really doing much. I feel like the Heen's texture on top kind of gives it a little bit more stopping power. And that's why I say that. I, I, I'm assuming they say... Um, the Hayate Atsu is supposed to give you more stopping power, especially with the thickness. But I could be wrong. Like I said, it's it's it just depends on the thickness on the on the style too. But this is the Hayate Atsu. This is an extra large, extra soft. So obviously this is supposed to be the 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 most control you could have is what I'm trying to get at. But however, it just doesn't feel like it's the most control. It feels a little sporadic. It feels like when you put pressure down, it's not really stopping much. I feel like it's just too spongy or like a soft sponge. On, on moving left and right so it doesn't really give you that stopping power feel that the uh Heian does so i would personally say if you're trying to it's like a weird ballpark in between but if you're trying to find more of a control pad you might want to go with the Heian, but just get it like maybe a little softer and then uh obviously if you want more speed you'll probably want the Heian with mid but if you want the hot they ought to just based off of the uh i mean a lot of people reviewed this saying it's the Heian killer i i personally it's a personal preference thing but if you're definitely looking at the hot they ought to is more of the purchase that you want then i would probably recommend something like mid so the mid like you still get the stopping power but um you still get the speed too because again it's really sporadic especially with heavier mice heavier mice with the with the hayate atsu if you do go that route it would definitely be because of that is is the um you want that fucking or the speed especially with heavier mouse but like even when i use the heavier mouse the control is like it's still sporadic like even just playing with my v2 right now it's very sporadic even putting it down it doesn't feel like it's stopping well it doesn't feel like there's much control it's more loose of, of a control stop it's weird but um definitely with the with the heavier mouse and the mid or the mid tier mouse it was like Mm, you know like I, I was like i was okay with it like i personally wouldn't mind playing on this i i, I wouldn't it wouldn't be bug me you know it, it would be good it would be nice but the thing is it's something to do with the sporadicness of like trying to put pressure down it doesn't feel like it's being as accurate and i just feel like it's just and it, it's nothing against the mouse pad mouse pad is great i think what it personally is though is just the texture on top and i think the texture on top whatever they got going on with the stitching style and, and the softness of it i just feel like it's uh not as good as the hand so i personally I know a lot of people have the like, I know if they go with the fanboys of the artists and pads, those he and all day, you know, because they love the he and I've heard that many times, but I've also heard like the new Hayat Atsu people love it. So me personally, after I've tested this, I personally do believe the he is better. Um, but like I said, if you're wanting a, you know, good artisan pad with a little bit more speed and, and a better texture, then obviously the Hayat Atsu might be the way to go. Um, we'll get the glide test going right now. But like I said, this was tested with three different mice. And when I did test it, I did notice, like like I said, it was just a little bit more sporadic. 
like looking if you, you guys can't see my sensor but when i see my sensor when i'm moving like this just fine tuning like circles and stuff it, it's very sporadic um definitely interesting interesting test um but it glides really well i mean obviously i think it has even more of a glide personally than the hean um and i again it just goes right back to the same thing that's like the same you know concept it's the it's the texture up top it's the texture on top of it it's a little softer oh I, was like, I hope I didn't just exit out of that, um, out of my Streamlab stuff. But yeah, it has a better glide. Uh, I believe it just it glides a little better, but just less control. Even with it being extra soft, um, definitely has a better uh, has a better glide and still not as good of a control, in my opinion. So, mouse is really good though. I mean, the, well, obviously mouse is good, but the mouse pad glides really well. You won't be disappointed. And you could even see a little bit. Like I know I have a light kind of flashing, but you could see the texture a little bit in the video. I know it's going to be probably 720p, which I should apologize for that just because I'm performance purposes, I'm trying to make my computer a little better, but you can still kind of see the texture right here. It's kind of got that line. It's very nicely built. It's a very nice well done mouse pad you will not be disappointed i know a lot of fanboys out there will you know fight to the end about their mouse pads you can see like the 360s even like when i'm spinning the mouse are a little better like they don't go like fully around but they go a lot more than what the hean was but again it's just the same thing the stopping power like maybe the heaviest mouse pad you'll get really good stopping power out of this and the and the uh the stitching will give good reads on the sensor so definitely recommend for people using heavier mouse that you would like this mouse no matter i mean this mouse pad no matter what but in terms of like a lot of people using the lightweight mouse i personally think the heme would just be your better your best bet your best bet in in you know comfort and everything obviously it's a little more comfortable to put your arm down like if you also think about too a lot of people are playing full arm arms like where they're swiping like this on low sense and that's something you got to consider because when you're doing that you're also rubbing your arm so that's why another comfort situation would be this would be the better better route in terms of that however me being a low sense i'm usually like around wrist right here and i'm just kind of like moving in and out you know I'll, sometimes i'll sit back and i have a different stance where i'm like sitting back a little bit and i do have my hand up a little more and i'm just kind of like still playing like this and i'll whip it over but personally i just feel like i've been so used to like fine locking in my arms on the arm pads right here so i lock them in and then i'll just play like this and i snap around like that so pretty, pretty much what i've been used to um the logo again they all have a logo like this at the end. It looks like a little ship. And then it has it in Japanese and it says Ninja FX Artisan Japan. So personally, you won't go wrong with that. I think you'll you'll like either or that you get, which is good. But at the same time, if I had to choose a personal preference for being a high sense player and you want to relate to me, especially using a lightweight mouse and a heavy or pretty much all types of mice but really i've been using the uh the lightweight mouse the most lately i've been kind of going back to the v2 just because the mid tier it feels really good with control um but lightweight mouse which is just majority of people nowadays definitely look into the hean um i would definitely i think like i said what did i recommend on the hean um loud ass truck driving by thanks so uh with the hean i would recommend the probably mid just because it gives you a little bit more stiffness so you get a little bit more speed out of it um but i think the control is just good enough so i definitely recommend the hean um over the hayate atsu personally either way you won't be disappointed they do go around for about i think 80 dollars for the bigger size you probably could find a cheaper one like the 40 or 50 dollar price range with the smaller one like me personally i wouldn't be using such a big mouse pad if i was a, a lower sense i mean a, a higher sense guy i would be buying a smaller one but since this was not bought this was uh given for a review then absolutely i will be uh recommending you know for low sense big mouse pad high sense lower mouse pad you know just like my hard pad my hard pad literally covers about you know I would say like 40% of this mouse pad and it's just plenty of space for me. Like obviously I'll go over a little bit sometimes depending on the scenario, but majority of the time it's just literally left and right and I'm good to go. So that's it for that review. And now I want to update you guys on why I haven't been streaming for a few weeks. I know a lot of you that watch are Razer guys and they like my Razer content. And I do deeply apologize that I did say I have a video coming out and I do. But like I said, I've just been going through a lot. So um, obviously my streaming uh, situation has been going a little less. I haven't been streaming as much. I got a lot more important things to do, to handle and, and take care of. Um, but those things handled was a new car. My car broke down. So, um, money's been a little tight. I've been scrounging around for money and, um, you know, it's been, it's been rough. You know, I've been trying to get back and forth to work. That's been costing me money just alone, trying to get back and forth to work while not having a car. And then finally I just got a car. So now we're good. We're back in, we're back in business. I got a nice new, uh, 2019 Dodge Challenger that for those car fans out there, 
uh, very nice. Got a nice little yellow racing stripe over the top with a, this, they call it destroyer gray all around, uh, 22 inch rims on that. I know, I know I just, I'm talking too much about it, but I love it. You know, I love it. Got my car fucking love it. It's nice. Um, but that was a pain in the ass and that's why it's been a while since I've done any kind of updates on anything. I know I did notify my community on discord about the situation. They're all aware of it and understanding. Um, but for you guys, it's like, I haven't said a word to you guys. So I, I deeply apologize, but I do have a video come out for razor THX spatial, uh, another update on EQ settings. And then also, since I haven't really done this, like full on reviews of the mice that I have, I pretty much all the razor products. I kind of want to do razor, uh, up or videos on everything. Um, but if you guys do want to follow my Twitch, like I said, it's twitch.tv forward slash X underscore Braven. I am going to be going back to the Goliath, this Chroma Extended, specifically for this Razer 8 kilohertz mouse because they finally, they fine tune the sensor for these type of stitchings that they do. And the stitching is actually pretty damn good on this mouse pad. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a uh, test stream for probably a week or so using this mouse pad specifically with this mouse and then on top of that i'll be making a review based off the mouse based off the mouse pad and obviously giving you guys your razor thx spatial update but anyways we're about 25 minutes into this video um i think i'm pretty much caught up with that but like i said it's very important please i do I always don't like to ask these kind of things, but I do really appreciate everyone that comes and subscribes to my channel on YouTube. So if you guys could thumbs up that, uh, this video and give me a subscribe or follow same thing with Twitch. I truly appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, but I am trying to get back on track. You'll see more videos uploading soon. Um, also in the comment section, if you guys are, you know, interested to reply to this, but, uh, if you guys would like to see more videos constantly or, or less videos constantly, but more quality videos, I would like some information on that, please. Whatever makes it easier for you guys. Um, definitely want to give you guys the best stuff. By the way, I'm pretty sure an ad is played through this, which I hope not. Um, but I'm pretty sure an ad was playing on Spotify while we we're talking. So hopefully not fingers crossed. It would sound really bad. Forgive me if it did. <laughs> But anyways, so yeah, in the comment section, let me know if you'd rather have quality edited videos or something like this that you don't mind and whatnot. So you guys take it easy. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Keep an eye out in the next few days. All right. Take it easy.